Hey viewers and welcome back to another CDN Game Guides video. Today I am playing the game League of Legends, otherwise known as LOL. I am playing as Annie the Dark Child. Yeah, she's kind of morphed and yeah, evil. She is a caster and she likes to play with fire and she has a teddy bear that she can summon to her side. So yes, I have a blog about her up on uh, the terabytes blog spot. There'll be a link in below. This video kind of corresponds with it. It's kind of showing you how to use her and my thoughts. So um, right off the bat, um, we're going in there. And the thing you gotta know about her is she is very heavy in the damage. She she just pounds on that damage. She fires. That sounds kind of perverted. But um, the first spell you're gonna want to get right off the bat is your disintegrate, which is the first spell on your spell bar. Your passive ability here is if you cast five spells on your fifth spell, fifth or sixth, I'm not sure, I think it's five casts, so on your sixth spell, you'll stun the victim or opponent for a little bit. Um, this game here actually starts off really well, but goes downhill because I start to fall asleep, but I want to get a video up, so I decide to uh, show it to you. Um, the second spell you want to you're going to want to get normally is your incinerate, which is like basically like a flamethrower attack. It attacks in a cone. Um, or Molten Shield, depending on if the start of the game, if you're feeling like you're being hounded a lot and you're taking a lot of damage, throw Molten Shield on. It protects you, and it does damage to them. All the specs and stuff are on the blog. Check them out. Um, so, um, one of the tactics I like to use is I'll use, I'll get my five, um, spells up, and then I will use my incinerate which does like the flamethrower effect a cone on a couple of champions that way I get stuns on more than one champion and it helps out a lot um what items you want to want to go for you're going to want to go for mostly ability and mana for the most part I'll make sure to pick up your boots so you have that extra movement speed and um yeah it's basically your spells you're gonna well you can do some defensive ones but it all depends who you're playing against um, as you can see, she does do a lot of damage, and she is able to get away because of that Molten Shield. So right here, I'm going to take out Warwick, I think, maybe. Maybe not. He gets away. Um, one ability that I kind of wish she had is not one of them that's stun, which she kind of does have a stun, but you got to get the five spells off. Otherwise, she'd be cheap if she could just stun and kill. So you got to be tactical. Um, when she summons her Teddy Bear, which is the final spell that she um, can use you can summon it like right on top of people so it'll instantly attack them which is really really useful in this game it's useful for ganking so um, yeah so the spells I like to focus on the most are your disintegrate as my major spell I like to max it out before anything else and other ones I like to spread between depending if I'm getting hounded a lot I'll put more into molten shield if I my health is staying up there I'll put more into incinerate that way I can deal out more damage um, I haven't really perfected what items to get to get the best out of her I'm still working on that when I get that perfected um, they'll all go up onto my blog so check back there if you want to know more about her um, she is a dark child very dark. This is kind of the tutorial one. There'll be videos with f just full gameplay, like sped up, um, going through later on of each of the characters. There'll be montages, whatever. It, it all depends what kind of videos I want to get up. So here we go. We've got first blood finally. It's actually like nine minutes into the game, and we finally get first blood. Like I said before, this game starts off really, really well and just ends up going downhill, and we end up losing. But it was a good game all around. Everybody played. Uh, perfect game basically it's just they uh, got the counters on us and we kind of fell apart a little bit one thing with lol is it helps to know the people you're playing with so you can use like a vent or skype or something to talk to them it's quicker than typing so you'll be able to get like your oh I need help here or I need help here quicker than you can type two people but yeah Anyway, if you get a good enough team, you're good. You can run into some dicks, and then they just kind of ruin the game for you. Um, yeah. Dun -dun -dun -dun. I lost track of what I was saying. 
anyway, um, in the comments, leave what you think about Annie as um, if you think she's a cheap player, if you think only noobs use her. Um, she is a fairly easy player, easy character, summoner, whatever, tune, whatever you want to call it, to uh, start off with and use to learn. But she is, she does have her challenges in her too, so I'm not sure. Um, there'll be many more videos from LOL coming out too, so don't worry. If you're into this game, um, sub to the channel. So right there I summon my big teddy ass bear right on top of one of them, which kind of did a bunch of damage to him, then he switched to the minions. So it's pretty good. Oh, I got a stomachache. I don't know what it is. I didn't eat much today. Oh well. So, um, this is like a. Th if you haven't, if you didn't know already, this is a three verse three instead of the five verse five. I just find it easier to uh, show you. And this is where I go to practice before I play some five v fives, which is just more time consuming and it just takes forever. Um. So here we go. We're gonna. I think I get him right here. Maybe not. Um, so after I have all my attacks, this is the rotation I like to do. If they're at a far distance, I will keep this. Fuck. I totally forgot the name. I'll use num like the number one attack. So disintegrate. There we go. I'll use it constantly, constantly. And if they get close to me, then I'll use my incinerate or, or sometimes I like to pop molten shield get right up to them use incinerate and then start on the dis disintegrate um that way I get that off because usually they'll start running if they get low on health so yeah first death of the game right there booyah you like my little transitions there um yeah if you don't like those transitions leave them in the comments and I'll just do like a rough cut which is like when to just go from this scene to the next without any transitions in between um i think it smoothens out the gameplay this is a pretty sick kill he's full health here and just boom dead right there i win gg um yeah like i said this is one of the good games i got into today it's was actually i've gotten into a bunch of games today where i was just like frick everybody's not doing any good i'm not even doing any good um also leave what um, character you want me to play next in the comments I have a bunch on lock so chances are I might have them if I don't then I'll try to unlock them and I'll do a video on them or her or you know whatever see right here I'm like my mindset right here I think that's where we start to where I went wrong I started to think oh yes we have this game right here we should have pushed and just kept pushing I don't know I think we made a couple poor decisions if we pushed a little bit more at certain points, we would have had this game. But we end up losing, which is yeah, kind of depressing, but whatever. You Here I am, running away. This is... She She talks like, oh my god, Some her voice, the voice that they use for her in this game is annoying. And she says like the most annoying things over and over again. But if you can get past that, I think most people will enjoy using her to demo the other team. Um, one thing you gotta remember is she she's not gonna be able to solo t by herself very much. She might be able to do it hold off for a little bit right at the turret, but you always want to pair her with a tank or another person, someone that can take the blunt of the damage for you as you sit back and deal the big damage numbers to them. Um, so far I have found to get her going really quick, just try to pumble up your ability right off the start, don't worry too much about mana, and then later on concentrate on your mana, regen and your maximum amount of mana. Yeah, I have a sore throat now. Freak. So anyway, summer is now here, which means a lot more video games, but also means a lot more time to spend outside and, you know, nice weather. Got to go outside sometimes, go swimming in my pool. My shitty pool, but it's a pool at least. Um, and go to the gym and... You know, go for bike rides and jogs and runs. You know, I love the summer. I also love the winter because I play hockey and ref hockey and all that. I got a couple of refing stories to share with you guys um, later on. So, look forward to those, I guess.
I've got hit with a couple of pucks. I've got into a couple situations. Yeah. So. And I don't know. I don't ref up in the major NHLs or anything. I ref minor hockey. So like younger kids to like well teenagers too. Like people who are like a year younger than me. I've ref so. I get that's pretty good. I guess in my books. Uh, so this video here is coming to an end soon. There's only about two, three minutes, four, actually four minutes. So we got a little bit more time. Well, my screen just got brighter. I don't know what it was, but my screen just got a lot brighter. So with the summer, you guys should be expecting a lot more videos coming out. Oh, one thing I haven't talked about. You know those two spell abilities you get to pick right off the start? I always pick the one that heals, but um. On her, I decided to pick like their crippling effect, so I could slow them down. Gives me a little more time to attack them. That's just what I think. If um, you have any tips actually about how to use her, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, to, it will help all of us out. That way, we're creating kind of a discussion to talk about the different effects or whatever she can do. Remember to check out the blog. I seem to be pushing a lot of stuff on you people, on you awesome viewers. <laughs> but um. What else is there to talk about? How dumb my kit internet company is? Freaking. Oh, sometimes I wonder, like, I was in the middle of, um, the other day I was playing World of Warcraft. I was in the middle of a P vs P match. I was actually, um, filming it to get some footage for a montage, and I was actually owning everything. The next thing I know, my internet company shuts off the internet because they're across the road doing something. But instead of simply cause coming down the street or knocking on the door, or something and telling us the internet's going to be down for the next three hours. No. You have to call them and wait on their hole just for to hear them go, Oh yeah, your internet's down. And it's going to be down for three hours. They're doing some service on your street. Sometimes I wonder. Oh well, my internet's pretty good, pretty quick. It's not top line or anything, but it's got some speed. What else? Oh, i seen the Green Lantern on the weekend and... It was okay, but it's not as good as everybody says it is. It's a middle-based movie. It's heavy on the middle. It's I don't know. The ending was like, oh my god, it's the big enemy, and all of a sudden, oh, it's over. What happened? It, was, it just left me going. Really? Could have did a lot better at the ending there. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but um, it's an okay movie, but it's like, I'm a quitter. I quit again. I quit some more. It was more about the character... Then the Green Lantern. I don't know. They say like the story was good to, for the Green Lantern, but like you watch any of like I don't know. I just it just didn't. I don't know. I just I didn't really like it that much. It was good, but it 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 just wasn't what I expected. I guess. So yeah. But uh, Cars 2 came out, comes out tomorrow, yep, definitely going to see that, maybe, Def well, I probably am, because, you know, Cars is awesome. If you don't watch that movie, well, then you're faggot. So, here we are, about to get fucked up and um, defeat it, so, enjoy the last little bit of this video, I'm going to leave you guys and everybody else out there now, um, remember to subscribe, give me those thumbs up, because thumbs up always make me smile. And leave your comments. I, you know, there's a lot to leave comments about. Anyway, peace out. Oh yeah, remember to subscribe, because if you don't, I know where you live.